This news spoke with Hill's lawyer minutes after his surrender. Our Crystal Cranmore is on scene with what he had to say. Crystal. Good morning. Well, we're certainly learning more about Maurice Hill. I first reported in the last half hour that Hill is a father, but just recently we're learning from Commissioner Ross that he has a two-day-old newborn. And we're also learning from Commissioner Ross that apparently Hill was FaceTiming with his girlfriend during the situation Wednesday afternoon. Now, I do also want to share that we've learned, according to court documents, that Hill has a very long criminal history dating back to the early 2000s from narcotics charges to weapons violations. I do want to show you some video. The most recent video we have of Hill leaving Temple University Hospital. We're told he was taken there simply for an evaluation. We're told that he was not injured during the shooting. Hill is accused of engaging in a gun battle with police for several hours on Wednesday. Six officers were taken to local hospitals for gunshot wounds. Fortunately, all non-life-threatening injuries, according to authorities. And we're told that during the situation, Hill called his lawyer named Shaka Johnson. This was around 8.30 in the evening. Again, while he barricaded himself inside the home on North 15th Street, Hill made contact with Johnson, someone he's known for years, likely because of his criminal past. He surrendered after midnight. We wanted to know how Hill was able to get the situation to fuse. Here's what his lawyer had to say. Maurice called my phone and was, uh, Uncle, I'm in a situation. I need your help. Uh, well, we talked about you got to come out, you know. Uh, the first thing I did was say, well, listen, is there anything I can do for you with respect to contacting anyone? Uh, the next thing we did was let me contact the powers that be. Let me try to get in touch with uh, a, uh, D.A. Krasner. Let me try to get in touch with Commissioner Ross to see if we can stand down uh, because he's talking now. And I don't know if he had been talking before, but he was talking to me. Enough people have been hurt for the day, uh, and all eyes and, uh, and, quite frankly, all points of barrels were now on Maurice. And we wanted to make sure this ended with no more violence. Now, there were reports that Hill was live streaming the action on Wednesday. His lawyer has disputed those claims. Now, next steps, obviously, Hill will be processed and arraigned. We're hearing from his lawyer that he could be facing aggravated assault charges as well as attempted murder charges. Now, here at 15th and Lenox, there's really not that much activity going on in this part of the community. About a block behind me, there are a few officers still uh, holding down the scene. We do expect more information to come out, and we, of course, will bring that to you as it becomes available. We're live in the nice town Tioga section of Philadelphia. Crystal Cranmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Crystal.